I'm happy to be here today to share the good news of Jesus Christ and how he can be shared through communications and TV broadcasting. Have you ever noticed when you get in the car and turn on the radio or the television, we are constantly bombarded with sex, low morals, and the slandering of God? We can have pop culture without those being the main driving force. In the minutes that follow, I will discuss how the love of God can be shared through communications and broadcasting. There's a voice of purity in our world, and there's an opportunity to share that voice with millions of people. Now let's take a closer look at these topics. The love of God and His hope can be shared with the world through a vocation in communications and broadcasting. An example is The 700 Club, which is a television show that's put on by CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network. The 700 Club is a TV show designed for, an intera in for viewer interaction through chat community, social networking, phone calls, and Skype. They use that community to have a live ministry and a prayer community with its viewers. CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network, is a global ministry that is preparing the nations for the world and the, the nations of the world for Jesus Christ. Using the television and the internet, CBN is proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ to 147 countries and territories in 62, in 62 languages. Another example of how God is God's hope can be shared with the world through communications and broadcasting is radio. A radio station called K Love is a positive and uplifting Christian radio station whose mission is to create a compelling media to inspire and encourage us to have a meaningful relationship with God. K Love reaches the world through the World Wide Web at Caleb.com. God is evident in these broadcasting stations, and His Word is reaching thousands of people around the world, one broadcast at a time. This brings me to my second point. As the pop culture and world communications technology advances, so does the need for communication and broadcasting of Jesus Christ to our communities. CSUN EDU has reported the following information. The number of hours Per day, TV is on, on average, in an average U.S. home, is 6 hours and 47 minutes. That's almost 7 hours an average American spends vegging out in front of the television. How about 7 hours hearing the gospel? This now brings me to my final point. Millions of people in our culture can be reached with the hope and good news through communications and broadcasting. According to the Washington Post, there is 2.2 billion Christians in the world. That's 32% of the total population. That leaves 68% of the total population unsaved and a mission field. According to VRWorld.com, which states the industrial world of, of radio will reach an audience of 3.14 billion people, and the television will reach an audience of 4.2 billion people. That's 61% of our total population on the planet that can be reached through communications. Television and radio stations can be used as a voice to the unsaved masses. M Mark 16:15 says, go into the world and preach the gospel to all creations. How about preaching the gospel to 4.2 billion living rooms, or 3.14 car radios, or radio outlets? There's the people there's the form of communication. Now where's the gospel? To wrap this up, as I just demonstrated, the communication world is like an empty bowl, ready to be filled with goodness. God has given and allowed 4.2 billion people to have access to television and 3.14 billion people to have access to radio. It's up to the communication communicators of the future, like me and you, to use a to use the radio and television stations as voice pieces for the Lord. Are you looking for a job? Do you want to make a difference and be a voice piece for the Lord? Then communications and TV broadcasting might be the job for you. Be a voice piece for the Lord. Yay.